Hello, I'm Joel Bartholomew. When we believe that someone or something is reliable, good or honest, we place our confidence in them. We trust them. Few things hurt us more than when people betray our trust. Whether we like it or not, we place a lot of trust in organizations and provide them with our private information. I'm talking about banks, companies like Apple and Adobe, and the state and federal governments. Often our most private information is held by our healthcare providers, hospitals, and insurance companies. We expect them to take measures to protect our confidential and personal and financial information. Unfortunately, in 2013, hackers gained access to 38 million accounts at the software company Adobe, 50 million accounts at Evernote, an online note-taking site, a million accounts at Dun & Bradstreet, and 275,000 at Apple Computer. Medical groups and hospitals were not immune to data breaches either. In 2012, one quarter of the U.S. population, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 87 million people, received at least one letter notifying them that their information had been breached or made public. A new report from Experian Data Breach Resolution says healthcare will face a perfect storm for breaches this year in 2014, and the Affordable Care Act will only make the target that much larger. Here at Global Med, we took steps early on to make sure our connected health systems protect patient medical data from intruders. Our cloud data storage system for medical images, Capture Cloud, features 256-bit encryption, double the industry standard of protection. When physicians access the images on their computers, they are only viewing them. The images are not saved to and do not stay on a doctor's computer, but are gone when the file is closed or the Capture Cloud viewer times out. In fact, the images created during a patient's session with Capture, our image automation software, are saved to the cloud, then erased when the patient's session ends. Capture Cloud does that automatically. And our EasyShare video conferencing program, unlike free services, can be used in a HIPAA-compliant way so that users are notified of any breach attempts. I'm Joel Bartholomew. I don't distrust people, but I ask questions, and I'm sure you do too. We want to know whom and what we can trust. That's why I invite you to ask us questions about security, because we can answer them.